Milwaukee Bucks were the NBA's highest scoring team in the regular season with 118 a night. They bettered that while lighting up the Pistons in round one. Then came the opener against Boston and a meager 90 point effort, their third lowest of the season. They rebounded to win the next two with 123 in each and lived in the paint in game three. In fact, all of Giannis Antetokounmpo's 32 points came in the paint or at the foul line. On Monday night, Boston looking for a way to control the freak and even the series as we head to TD Garden for game four. Would this be a signature game for Kyrie Irving trying to tie the series? Or would the, the freak just dominate like he has been? And Man. look at that. Oof. Ever since game one, they haven't been able to keep him out the paint. Al Horford and one. Boston's got the early lead. Marcus Smart makes his postseason debut well, after the oblique injury. That's the only shot he hit. He was one for seven. Well, well, you probably need your oblique trying to go at that man. Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> See, I don't have to worry about hurting on oblique. Jalen <laughs> Brown, I couldn't even find your oblique. I uh, know, that's why you don't have to worry about hurting. <laughs> 18 to six run for the Bucks. Chris Middleton uh, for three. Boston up 49-47 at the half. All oh, these guys in great shape gonna hurt their oblique all the time. I never have to worry about <laughs> Jason <that>. Tatum <laughs> and one made the Trump free throw. Uh, uh, and, and here comes foul uh, trouble on the Milwaukee side because yes. the freak gets his fourth. And surprisingly, once he went down, that's when they made the, they uh, made the run. Yeah, Chris Middleton gets his fourth. Game tied at 59 at that point, and Milwaukee goes 21 to 13 with no free. I tell you what, man, this has been probably one of the oh. best pickups to what nobody talk about. George Hill has been fantastic. Yeah, no, no doubt. And, and, and Connington came in. And oh, go oh, Connington. Well. Hey, listen, he was great, but George Hill. George Hill was great. Fantastic. There he is. Go I get love that. Connington. Go get the block, and go he get can that. get up. Yes, he can. Oh. Okay, Rex Chapman. Milwaukee 80 to 72 <laughs> after three. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm, okay. I can taste it. That's not fair. I can taste them chitlins right now at Perkins in Milwaukee. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Ooh, but the chit, freak, chit. freak had 17 in the fourth quarter, by the way. That's going hot sauce, Chuck. Chit, oh, we've got to put hot sauce on them, brother. There's George <laughs> hey, Hill again, and there's Anna. Chitlins don't Chuck in Milwaukee. You and Kenny and Ernie. Yeah. It will be fun to see him in person. Oh, oh seven, no question. Seven to five to seven games. Oh, yes, it will. Want to see if, one if more? If it happens. One oh, more from Giannis. Oh, you want yeah. Boston? I bet you. Ooh. There he is. <laughs> The human exclamation point. Man, there you know, is. this kid is great, too. He's a great person. Yeah. Uh, he wants to be the best to us. He does. Uh, 113 to 101. And Milwaukee, their seventh win and their sixth by double digits in these playoffs. Points in the paint, 66 to 44. They're 4 0 on the road. And now they're up three games to one. Here's Brad Stevens. Third quarter, Giannis and Middleton both had foul trouble. Yeah, that was killer. And Milwaukee built on the lead. Yep. I think their bench is just playing excellent. You know, it's not bench versus bench, bench versus starters, whatever you want to call it. Their bench comes in, There's they've had no drop off. They've been excellent. Connaughton's been excellent. George Hill's been absolutely tremendous. You felt it kind of change and that they were maybe going to be able to, you know, not only hold it tight, but extend it. And um, we actually rode them a little bit longer. We're thinking about bringing them. Chris or Giannis back, and that group just finished the quarter um, really well. Great teams and great players, you know, they don't, when they find an opportunity like this, they don't, you know, waste it. You know, you got to take advantage of it. You got to, like, close um, the game out. And uh, that's what my mindset, both games, but especially this game. You know, when I step on the court, I got to do whatever it takes for my team to win. Giannis, it just, you know, like you said, it's, it's hard to find the words, uh, what he does for our team. Um, I think both ends of the court, he's so multifaceted, multidimensional. He's special, um, but, you know, he's very hungry. He's, uh, he wants more, and um, he's playing that way. 39 and 16 for Giannis in this one. And again, third quarter, so pivotal it has been in each game of this series. Uh, and you see the numbers there. And again tonight, Milwaukee outscores him by 10 in the third quarter. And they cruise home 113 to 101. So Shaq, uh, I mean, Milwaukee got punched in the mouth in game one in their gym. They have won the next three. What are the chances they don't close it out at home in game five? I like their chances, unless they get cute and get happy and start, you know, thinking about the Eastern Conference Finals. But I don't see that. 
When I look at Giannis, I don't know who's in his ear, but it, it, this brother's serious. He wants to be the best. Uh, you, you know, he comes out, he's prepared. Uh, you know, after game one, he could have panicked a little bit, but he didn't. He, you know, he adjusted, readjusted, came back. He's playing better, but I like watching him at the press conference because he's not playing around. He, he really, really wants it, and uh, I like watching him. So I, I think they will definitely, you know, close the series up. The, uh, I mean, what's Brad Stevens to do now? When this series started, it was all about, hey, they're building a wall and they're keeping Giannis out of the paint. What happened to that? Well, I think... I think, number one, Milwaukee had such an easy first-round series. They just got punched in the mouth, like Shaq said. But after that, they settled down. And the other guys, I think game one, I think they relied on Giannis too much to let them build that wall. Now the other guys have really picked it up. George Hill has been spectacular. spectacular. Cunnington has been spectacular. Uh, Middleton's done his thing. Bledsoe has done his thing. I mean... They are, and you give you. I don't even know who the general manager is there, but give him credit. Going out getting Miritic. John Horst would be. Uh, yeah. John Horst. But, but going out getting George Hill, who none of us has mentioned George Hill this whole year. Uh, none of us have mentioned George. And he has been, uh, he was great in game three and he was great again. But I have a mention, and listen, he's a good player. He did, he, you know, that thing happened last year in Cleveland. But he's been spectacular. Going out getting Mir Miritic at the trading deadline. Uh, Lopez is doing his thing. This team going to be tough to beat, man. How many playoff games do you think George Hill has played in in his career? Uh, I would say in the 50s. How about 110? This okay, was yeah. this was the 110th yeah. playoff you know, game it, of his it, career. It, yeah. He's given him 14 a night in this yeah. series, shooting 59. percent Yeah, but you know, two years ago when he was at when he, I think it was in Indiana when he got before he got hurt, he was on the verge of being an All Star for the first time. You know, he was being mentioned in that. So we understand what he can bring to the table, and he's bringing it. Um, you know, same way we said what Rodney uh, Hood, Hood could do. And, and then he's bringing it. You know, those guys were in, in, in inopportune times in their career uh, at, when they were in Cleveland. But I, I will say this. The, the Boston Celtics, um, this is a pivotal game, not, in the, not just this series, but in their franchise. They, uh, I mean, they may have seen... Kyrie Irving's last game there. No, that's well, what I'm saying. These next game, if wow, this, this next is game, wanted, right? but this is this is this next game is going to dictate where things go and how things go uh, in the future for the Boston Celtics. So it's more than just game five. Well, and I'm going to disagree with you. This thing's a wrap, and we it's said, a wrap, but it, I, no, I, no, it's no, not a wrap. No, no, no. But I'm saying it's number one. It's a wrap. Okay. But we said going into the series. You know, Boston, you know, you ask, you've asked, how many times did you ask me when Boston would lose five? Every win? time I see you. Yeah, you're like, his Boston finally got together. And Meshach and Kenny said, you cannot turn it on and off. Then they beat the underman Indiana team. You heard all these uh, jackasses on TV time, but, oh, uh, this is what the Celtics been waiting on. And you heard some of players says, well, we were waiting for the playoff. It doesn't work like that. And now you're playing against a team, and we talk about how hard Milwaukee plays. No question. And they kind of panicked in game one, but now they're just going to So when you, say, when you say it's a wrap, are we talking about it's a wrap as the way we see this current yes. franchise? Yes, because, Kenny, we said coming into the season, they got too much talent. They don't have any... Too much of the same talent. Yes. The, the only player, they got two guys on their team who don't care about anything but winning. Al Horford and Smart. Those guys, and, and Baines too, he's one. But all those other guys, uh, Kyrie, Gordon Haywood, Jalen Brown, Tatum, they're offensive players. Mm. And that, that's not a knock. But if the only thing you're going to bring to a team is offense, it's not going to work. And we said that at the beginning of the season. We said, who's on this team going to sacrifice? And they don't have sacrificable players. But it will work if you step up. You can't, you can't complain about not being a man, ask to be the man now that you are the man. You got to step up. This is the time you got to step up. I don't want to hear no excuse. I don't want to hear none of that. If you shoot 22 times, you better hit more than seven shots in the playoffs. Check, seven, yeah, check, seven check, for let me tell you something. 22. You so, asked for it. Check. And let me you tell you something. Me and you, and let me tell you something. We get up, me and you have been superstars. We get all the credit and we get all the blame. All the blame. He wanted that super, I don't want to share the limelight with LeBron. Okay, I want my own team. Now, this is the price you pay. 
That's the way it works. Yep. And the people that, I always tell people, people never say, man, Mark West didn't win the championship. They never said, <laughs> said Sabalos didn't win the championship. But I love both of those guys. They said Charles Barkley didn't win the championship. That's the way it is. And that's what Kyrie, he says, I want to be my own man. And now you're your own man who going on vacation Thursday morning, he, 8 o'clock. He came up uh, 7 for 22. <laughs> One, 7 two, for three, 22. Three, <laughs> 7 for 22 in game four. 23 <laughs> points, 10 assists. Where's it going, Chuck? They're down 3-1. Cancun. Uh, we've heard that. But they're down 3-1. <laughs> Teams that are down 3-1 are 11 and 238. Uh, I was blessed to be yeah. on that 11. Yeah. It could happen. Is, uh, yeah. Chuck, it could happen. You're saying there's a chance. Uh, hey, 